Hello everyone. Previously, I built a compound belt-driven reduction gearbox and shared the initial concept. This is part two of that project, where I will show the working version and explain how the system achieves high reduction with minimal noise. For this, I have done some assembly off-camera, as I did not want to prolong the video unnecessarily. As shown here, the gearbox consists of two stages. This is the first stage, and this here is the second stage. I've included an arrangement designed to both tighten the belt and increase its wrap around the central pulleys, although further refinement is required. I tested a few different sizes off camera, and I have settled on a size that sits between them. I have embedded a nut into this timing pulley, which allows me to attach the first stage to the housing. A timing pulley is mounted on the input side of the carrier. This is driven by a belt connected to the motor. The principle of operation is quite simple. The first stage serves as the input, and the second stage is the output. In the output stage, there is an output shaft this hexagonal 3D printed piece, which is attached directly to the center pulley of the second stage. Each stage has a large center pulley and two smaller pulleys mounted on a rotating carrier. A belt wraps around the small pulleys and the center pulley, just like a standard belt loop. In the first stage, the center pulley is fixed. It acts as our reference. In the second stage, the center pulley is free to rotate and serves as the output. As the carriers rotate around the center pulleys, they carry the belts and small pulleys with them. But because the first stage center pulley is fixed, this orbiting motion causes a relative rotation between the reference and the output. Here is the key trick. The output pulley has one tooth fewer than the fixed reference pulley. Both belts are the same length, so this one tooth difference causes the output pulley to rotate in reverse by one tooth for every full revolution of the carrier. The result is a reduction ratio equal to the number of teeth on the reference pulley divided by the tooth difference. In this case, with a 40 tooth reference pulley and a one tooth difference, we get a 40 to 1 reduction. The assembly is fairly simple and straightforward, except, of course, when things go wrong. I have embedded these nuts into the carrier to make assembly easier during filming. Spacers are added on both sides. Everything looks good so far. Initially, I assumed these would be the perfect tensioning idlers. However, they created too much tension on the belts, and I had to remove them. I will make adjustments and reprint them. With the tensioning idlers resized, reprinted, and mounted, it was time to attach the motor and put the gearbox to the test. Testing was carried out using a stepper motor.
After the initial test, which, by the way, revealed a slight misalignment on the output shaft, hence the visible wobble, I attached a printed paper to help measure the speed using a tachometer. I'm very pleased with the noise level so far. There's also a rubbing noise, which was never present during any of my off-camera tests. This noise can be eliminated once all parts are properly aligned. As you can see here, the output shaft rotates much slower than the input carrier, which is running at approximately 134 RPM. There is, however, one issue. The belt slips quite easily. This is a significant drawback of the current design. It could potentially be improved by using a different type of belt or by increasing the tension. There is also room for improvement in how the concept has been implemented in this version. This concept is not entirely new. It is directly derived from the compounded planetary gearbox reduction system. The pulleys used in this video were generated using a custom HTD3M script. Please stay tuned for the release of that script on the Fusion 360 marketplace. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel.